Yeah. <laughs> make sure you guys, make sure you guys <laughs> note that. It's not only is it water cool, water but it's cool. Hey guys, welcome back to this video. I'm gonna be checking out which is a more practical bike to take around town to get yourself a cup of coffee and Dunkin' Donut. We're gonna be riding with my $5,000 Royal Enfield Himalayan ADV and a $30,000 Panamerica, Harley Davidson Panamerica and see which is more practical to get a coffee as soon as possible. Going to John's now. We just got the Pan America, yeah, a few days ago. So we're going to play around a little bit. I just literally moved yesterday. So I moved the other day. I'm back to visit him on my Royal Enfield over here. He just got his Pan America. His Pan America little scooter from Harley Davidson. Pretty cool. I'm going to go see the bike and uh, fool around a little bit. Maybe do a little short, a short video. I don't know if you guys like the short videos, but they're uh, they're engaging actually. Short, on point, and they usually they bring in new subscribers, more subscribers. They see a short, and then there's a little big subscribe button. Which, by the way, you guys only only 40, 35 percent of you are actually subscribed. Don't you realize it's for free, you cheap It doesn't cost money. It doesn't cost you money and it helps me, so why wouldn't you do it? Like literally, I see comments from so many people and none of you, none of you are subscribed. And at this point, guys, I literally can't answer anybody. So I just go to my subscribers and answer them first. I got the clutch. Got the clutch, that's what matters. Back in frame. bike is oh my god Let's see that's can you compare oh yeah I can compare five thousand dollars twenty five thousand dollars I'm gonna be checking out which is a more practical bike to take around town to get yourself a cup of coffee and Dunkin' Donut. So let me just show you a little walk around the two bikes that are gonna be part of this video. This is my 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan, 411cc single cylinder, and it's made in India. Single cylinder, air-cooled. I'm not sure exactly, I don't remember the exact specs of the sizes of the wheels but extremely reliable and believe it or not it's one of the best selling ADVs in the world because uh, it's sold in India a lot of uh, I think the population over there is 1.1 billion so it's very popular extremely reliable extremely reliable and uh, that's about it we'll be competing with the Harley Davidson Pan America 2022 the Pan America special I think it's called with the panniers water cooled liquid cooled v twin 1250 cc oh, water and, liquid? and both water and liquid cooled 1250 cc the revolution engine by harley davidson and as i said price tag is 
make sure, <laughs> make sure you guys make sure you guys note that it's not only is it water cool water but it's liquid cool also liquid cooled too <laughs> so you get a lot of a lot of cooling over there and uh i think it this one have a quick shifter i don't know if that no quick shifter it's quick shifter is optional and it's a really nice bike is it Himalayan or Himalayan? I don't know. But the pronunciation is different. I like uh, Himalayan. I like it. It's Himalayan, easier. Himalayan is... Himalayan uh, sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like food or something. So like now I, I just realized, I just realized what his topic of the video is going to be. What year is this, 2022? 21. And he's going to make fun of my bike. And I'm pretty much going to show why his bike is so inappropriate for everyday use compared to my bike. So like, he's going to make fun of me, but he doesn't know the jokes on him. I'm gonna bully him a little bit with the, with the big boy. Yeah, let's see who laughs. Who has the last laugh? Okay. Now look, look at him struggle to get why this you, mammoth. Why do you fly at the same time I vlog? Look at him. Look at him uh, he, again. So he's talking to me while I'm vlogging and say, why am I vlogging while he's vlogging? And he's doing the same thing to me. Look at him struggle to get this mammoth of a bike uh, out into the road. Okay. I think less than 400 pounds. I'm just roll 400 pounds. I'm just rolling it down. Okay, rolling it down carefully, slowly. I look at him struggle to get that bike. How heavy is that? See, with all the electronics, he's trying to figure out what's going on with that bike. And me, just start and go. Ready. Ice coffee refreshing in a hot day like this. John is treating me, so I'm gonna get extra stuff. What else can I get? You have any different lighters? Uh, that's the only one. Papa bear, baby bear. So the ride over here consisted of uh, backcountry roads, or let's in in town a little bit smaller shorter narrow roads twisties it was fun but once you get into the highway the highway speeds there's no chance the, the, the himalayan cannot cannot compete or stands zero chance with the bigger bike but for yeah, hopping but you know what's great about that bike is you don't need to, when you want to do an adventure, you don't need to go fast. I know. You I know. want to take your time, relax, enjoy the scenery, and you shouldn't be on highways. That's true. You know? Yep. So you don't need to go fast or fast. Yeah. Seven, 60, 60 miles an hour is the fastest you want to go on an, on an adventure, you know? So that's it. I had a. I really needed that that ride. Stretch out my legs after this move. Um, my opinion: a five thousand dollar bike is just uh, just as adequate, just as good to run around town to get myself a nice cup of cold coffee. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Till the next video. Okay, okay. you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video. Peace out. Yeah.